or from Khalaf B, like they have, let's say, somewhat different tunes in the in the high holidays, or like right. the Persians also that come from different cities, they'll have different tunes and different minhagi. Yeah. But Moroccans, it's like I'm saying, Moroccans who come from Casablanca or Marrakesh. Oh, all the Moroccans are the same, except for the um, the Spanish Moroccans from Tangier. I would say they're different, but I would say that most tunes like within the yeah. main cities in Morocco are the same. Yes. I mean, besides for the Spanish Moroccan. The, in Syria, yeah. the Damascus tunes are more similar to the Lebanese tunes than, than they are to the Halabi tunes. Very similar. Uh, so sometimes it depends on the... Also it depends on... Like, Syria, the, Damascus and Aleppo is very far apart. So it's like six hours apart. And you think, okay, six hours, you're, you live in the U.S., I just drive, you know, not a problem. But in Syria, it's a six-hour drive is like, you know, it's like going to a, another country, you know? So the cultures are very, uh, it could be a little bit different. So going back to this project, so that, that's one part of the project. Another part is, uh, is one part of it. The second one is called Daily Tefila. A lot of, I mean, this is... Uh, so there's different parts of the website for different people. Um, there was one school, they, they asked me to record just the regular prayers, you know, how to read the prayers. I mean, I'm, I'm assuming most of you know how to read the prayers here, but uh, for young kids who are trying to learn, or some people, they don't know. Some people, they live outside Brooklyn. They live, you know, in, in cities that don't have, some of them, they live in cities that don't have a yeshivot. You know, they don't have... And where, how are they going to learn? You know, the, so that's so that's another part. Another part is the pismonim. So a lot of pismonim, in, in the pismonim section, you will see different pismonim, and it's split by the makam. Um, you guys have learned a lot about the makam in, in this semester. Um, and I mean, it has. I have. I try to put up the ones that are that are most most popular in the Syrian community. Um, there's some of them that are on outside communities, uh, so that's that's another section. The uh, section that I'm trying to develop right now is the Hazanu section, uh, and this is you know, this is something that's going to be very very important in my mind because a lot of people they want to learn, you know, a lot of people want to go, you know, go up to be a, a Hazan. They want to go up and uh, pray for the front of the Kaha, but you know, they, they, they embarrass it. Well, where do you learn? How do you learn? I mean, you come here, you're learning now. But outside of this, you know, you have to go take lessons. And people take, it could take you years. And you, it's very hard to learn. There's, there's very, hard, very, very few websites that teach you how to learn. And our main, main hazan occurs on Shabbat. During the week, you know, everybody's going to work. Everybody, you know, has things to do, school, everything, you know. There's no hazan involved. But on Shabbat, in the mainly Friday night, Shahri and Arbi, Saturday night, that's when the main Hazanut is. That's where, you know, and the way we sing it is we have the different makamot. Each week, there's, each week there's a different makam. And it depends on the parasha, you know, the subject that's on in the parasha. So, for example, like this week is Hayy Sarah, right? So it talks about Sarah uh, passing away. They can probably tell you what my comment is. They for sure can tell me. Theme, they shouldn't be able to know from yeah, the first so class. Yeah, so you guys know what Hijaz. the... Hijaz. Hijaz. Hijaz is a, is a sad, sad, sad tune. It's a sad makam. We always we use it, you know, in sad occasions if there's anyone dying. Whatever, or the, if the kitisa, when they break the, the luhot. So you... So, so the makam, change, you'll change your tune for different parashiyot? Each parasha, there's, uh, there's basically this ten main ones, ten main makamot that we we use. To so read the parasha? No. No. Okay, okay. No, no, the parasha is read, is read in Siga, yeah. in the Syrian community. Yeah, I think yeah. that some people read a different makam, right? Yeah. Uh, but the parasha, always, we read it in one makam, the same makam. So what um, were you referring to now? But I'm referring, referring to the Shahrid prayers. Oh, okay, the prayers. So the no, it's okay. The Shahrid prayers. I'm referring to Shahrid Shashaba. So Saturday morning prayers is going to be in a different maqam. Each week, 
And the way we decide, the way it was decided which maqam is based on the, the subject of the Qurashat. So for example, like last week, no, two weeks ago, Lech Lecha, when they had the Brit Mila, do, do you guys know what maqam we would use? Sabah. Sabah. So Sabah is we use it in, uh, if there's Brit Mila, Pinhas, Lech Lecha, you know, any time there's a Brit Mila, we use it. So, Ajam usually we use in happy occasions on the holidays. Right, right, right. So all that. So each one, each one has a has a different uh, time, different time that we use it. So, so what I'm trying to do right now, I started working on this, is I'm trying and and then you guys know that in the you guys know that uh, there is we we sing everybody sings together. We have Nishma, Shabbat Ani, El Aoudaot. We have the Kaddish that the Hazan sings, Semehin, Mimisraim, and the Disha. So basically, we're trying to, we have to try to find popular songs and incorporate them into these songs. The Haftara is always the same. I'm sorry? The Haftara. The Haftara. Oh, the, 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 the Musaf. Oh, oh, the Musaf. Okay. So the Musaf. Some people say you use the maqam of the week, the following week. So let's say ne next week we get, let's say next week we're gonna do bayat. So this Shabbat Musa will do bayat. It's a sneak preview. Yeah, yeah, it's like a preview, basically. And some people and don't differentiate at all. Yeah, some people don't. Yeah, it depends. You know, it depends where uh, where you pray. Now at the Arbi, Saturday night usually in maqam bayat. Minha uh, of uh, Saturday. Is in Makam Ras. Did you guys get a chance to? Not yet, but Not we yet. did our jam and the, and the hijabs. Hijabs, right. Um, Friday night, usually do, is a Makam Nawa. I, I don't know if it's. Not one. Not right now. Yeah, okay, yes. Uh, and then Friday night, Minha is Nasika. So, I mean, some people, you know, there's little variations here and there, you know, based on different communities, you know. But, uh, you know, with everything, nothing is like, like uh, you know, black and white. You know, it's not black and white. There's little variations. Let me point out two things for everybody to gain. Remember the first class we spoke about the different types of Sephardic Hazanut? And we said there's basically four genres. You remember what they were? One was the North African or the Moroccan. The second was what? The Syrian. What we call the Nusaf Sephardi or Shami, the Middle Eastern Nusaf. The third was, we spoke about the Occidental, which is Spanish-Portuguese, and the fourth was the Yemenite. So that, those are the four broad categories. So somebody says, what about Persians and Iraqis? The Persian and Iraqi system resembles the Arabic system, or the Middle Eastern system, or the, or the Oriental system. And his website is focusing on Oriental Hazanut. There is nothing on his website that relates to the, to the Spanish-Portuguese Tamim, or the Moroccan Tamim, or the Yemenite Tamim. His website is really, if you want to follow the tradition of Syria, Iraq to some degree, uh, Iran to some Lebanon. degree, Egypt, Lebanon, that whole genre is covered in his website. I think that's a fairly accurate statement. Yes. Yes. Fairly so accurate. Lebanese, so like a tune I would hear, let's say, in uh, Magan Abraham in Montreal, Rabbi. Right, and, and, and the tune you would hear in Magan Abraham would be very familiar Similar to this book. Yeah. Very familiar. Yeah. Very familiar. Now, he spoke about Hijaz as being sad. When we studied Hijaz, somebody asked a question. We learned the song Samach Nafshi. And we even, I think, looked at it on YouTube. Sabah Fakhri was singing Kadu Kamayas on YouTube. And I think one of the gentlemen said to me, towards the end of the class, he says, Listen, he goes, It's such a happy song. How could Hijaz be a sad makam and we have a Pizmon that's happy? So. Who remembers how, how we dealt with that question? How can you explain that a sad makam can have a product, a song that has in it a certain sense of joy? No, no, practical answer. This is not a philosophical class. This is a, pra this is a practical, this is a class of professional training. It's very practical oriented. It's not theoretic, it's, it's very practical. So, how do you explain that? Any clues? Anybody? Can somebody think? 
So when we spoke about the Makam Hajaz, maybe demonstrate for us Kila Hashem and the Makam Hajaz. And then we'll make it to the Sabah Nashi and see how things transpire. <laughs> We all agree that's sad. Okay, now let's take one pizmon and, 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 uh, and congest. Anyone, not some of the That's good. That's very good. That's how Iman is very good. Let's see what I have. I need the words. I don't need the words. Well, there's a nice one. Uh, they also learned Rabat Sabal and Afshi. Oh, okay, that's a good one. That's a good one. Rabat Sabal and Afshi, maybe that one. First line. That's what I'm saying. Oh. Ozerini el haile akhiniya el yeli ozerini el haile akhiniya it is raham fate omeria it is raham fate So what's the mood? Serious. Now, what happened with Samah Nafshi? Let's hear you do Samah Nafshi. Samah Nafshi Asuri Mahir Ubnili Eta'iri Samah Nafshi Asuri Mahir Ubnili What made that a happy tune? You agree it's got a sense of happiness to it, right? It's on the top. It's higher. One thing is it's higher, but even more important than that, it's driven by a strong rhythm. When something is driven by a strong rhythm, it can even take a sad sequence of notes and make it snappy, peppy, happy. That's, that's the beauty. And there are even some examples, perhaps, of some pizmanim, let's say in Ajam, that are void of a very distinct rhythm and that are very slow, that almost can take a happy sequence of notes and make them sound a little bit slower. Uh, and if you have questions you'd like to ask, uh, Dr. Faraj? Yeah, I have a question. Uh, just first, first want to say that Actually, I visited your website many times, and it was very, found it very helpful. Um, and I saw, actually, I've seen it recently, and it's changed. I, it's been updated. It had like a red background before, and it was yeah. somewhat limited. <laughs> now it's there's a lot more. Yes, when, when I guess, uh, in, in that thing for notes. Now, I, I started. Uh, I started the website like two years ago, and I just it was just uh, what I did. I had a program that would just take. All the files from my uh, computer, uh, from my, uh, I had, a, uh, I put them all in one uh, folder. I would just take them and just convert them to, uh, just convert them into an MP3. You know, just like, take the. Yeah. It was very simple. So, but the problem was, it's not friend, user friendly. Because you have, if you like, it's that is like 800 songs, so you have to go all the way to the end. So, uh, and in March, I, I. Uh, started redesigning it into making it into many uh, web pages. That way, you know, you could break it up into your head, you know, you could say, okay, what do I want to learn today? You know, see, so it's, so and right now, I just finished about a month ago. Uh, I just finished uh, redesigning it. And uh, it's more organized now. You can see, you know, the different sections, different parts, and there's more, like, reading material.